Hi everyone, it's me Marcus and today I'm going to talk to you about primers. Now, if you would like, you can like, like this video, subscribe or leave a uh, respectful comment or question or request down in the comment section below. You can also subscribe to my emotions channel um, which will be left in the description box. So, primers. So, by the way guys, I am, I'll just show you. I'm I'm wearing this natural makeup look today. Eyeshadows. Uh just like neutral eyeshadow colours and just some foundation. Um and I also used an orange colour corrector underneath. Uh then I set it and then I used um the then I used powder to set it and um then I used foundation over the top and set that. So, yes, so today I'm going to talk to you about um, colour correctors and primers. So, first of all, um, there is the, um, so we have the nude colour, which corrects uh, darkness. We have coral, which um, corrects dark circles. We have... Um, uh, green which covers redness and there's lilac which covers um, which brightens up sallow skin so if you're someone like me uh, who is pale you might be more prone to um, redness so using a green concealer will neutralise the red tones in your skin and you'll set and whatever you do, I suggest that you set the primer first, then go over the top with the foundation just so it doesn't look green underneath. Um, same with all um, colour correctors, really. Um, then, uh, for you can use nude or you can use uh, um, coral correct under the eyes. And sometimes it's even like peach colour. Uh, you can use peach colours underneath your eyes. Darker skin tones. There's like more orange colours with darker skin tones that you can use. Um, and you can use that with a combination of nude colours as well. Uh, and you could, and uh, set that underneath your eyes. Um, Make sure to use a beauty blender. What I did was I used a beauty blender underneath my eyes as well. Uh, just very lightly press. Just gently press on just to make sure there are no streaks because that will show up later on. And then I use a powder with the beauty blender and uh, and set it. Um, then I go over the top with the foundation concealer or sometimes both. It depends on how I feel. Um then we have now I don't suffer from this but um sometimes pe different people suffer from sallow skin so you you brighten it up with the lilac and that'll neutralize it to more of a white color it'll cancel out the uh the yellow tones and make it look more more healthy so it'll look less mm -hmm. you look less ill and you look more, um, you look more healthy, <laughs> obviously. Um, I don't know why I said that for. Um, yes. So there's also the matter of primers. There's a mattifying one, and there's a luminizing one as well. Um, there's also the silicone ones, which will. Uh, help with your pores. So mattifying ones, they help to, if you have oily skin, it'll make the pores look smaller and it will prep the skin for using foundations and things just so it controls the shine. Um, and there's illuminizing for, um, there are times when you might want to avoid luminizing primers, like if you have texture on your skin and quite a bit of it, it'll show it up. 
Uh, but if you want a nice glow sometimes it's nice to use an illuminizing primer to show off more healthy looking skin. Um, I don't like to use illuminizing primers I find now because the, the more I the more I used them, the more I found that it just didn't work for me. Uh, and I actually find that the, uh, the I think it's this, I call this like a demi matte look it helps more for me. It makes me look healthier. It's sort of like a like a Taylor Swift kind of look. It's uh, you know it's not quite J Lo and it's not quite <laughs> um, Lady Gaga matte, but it's, it it just helps um, me to look healthier with slight glow on it this for me is a natural makeup because if you've looked at my instagram or anything which will be linked below by the way you'll know that i can be quite dramatic with my looks and i apologize if i'm hardly looking at the camera because the scenery is so beautiful around here in yarn <laughs> um okay and there's also the silicone ones which will help with your pores um because they fill them out. There are also um, concealers anti-aging which will help to conceal um, wrinkles because they have light reflecting particles in them which will help the light will bounce off the wrinkles and will take the attention away from them. Sometimes I think I could do with some of that. <laughs> uh, anyway um, Okay, guys, so leave a like, thumbs up, uh, you can subscribe, um, leave a comment, question, or request, respectful comment, question, request down in the comment section below, and I'll see you again next time, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye!